the Batavians, another British group, Letavi, a French society, Germans, and I think Swedish, and also a man from Holland as well, a mixture of people from all over the Roman Empire. As they marched past, by all means, get pictures, give them a cheer as well, just as they marched past the rope. This is the largest gathering of later Roman soldiers, as I say, since the end of the Roman Empire. We're celebrating the year 410 AD. 1600 years ago to this year. This is the year after 390 years of Roman rule, Britain stopped being part of the Roman Empire. Story goes it was because of a letter received from the Emperor Honorius, but even this has uh, some controversial argument behind it. Whether the letter was indeed intended for Britain, we don't know. But according to popular belief, a letter arrived from the Emperor Honorius and that the contents of that letter will be read today. Now this is our interpretation. It could be that it was received. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It could be that it was received peacefully, or it could be that it caused uproar. But what we'd like to know is how that message was received by the people of Britain. Was it received well or was it received poorly? Now these men here, if you were here this morning, you would have seen a disagreement between various factions. There are people who have marched from Rome, there are also local Limitani, the static frontier troops, and amongst their ranks there are Germanic Federati, people who are allied to Rome. They're fighting essentially as mercenaries, keeping law and order, but the Federati are fighting for money only. Now here today we have two cavalry, they're the escort of this man right in front of me here. This man here is... Would you introduce yourself, sir? You are... Yes, yes, you. My name is Marcus Arturius Albinus, Vicarius on behalf of the Divine Emperor Honorius. Ah, a man who actually represents the Emperor Honorius. Look at the century. Now they're going to be drilling in front of this man because they want to impress him. Showing these people with various languages and different languages and cultural backgrounds can, they can work as one cohesive unit. They're here to receive this message. They're hoping it will be a pay rise. They're hoping it will be good news about Rome. So many years of bad news at this end of the empire. They're hoping it will be good news. But this man has a, an important message directly from the emperor addressed to Britain. Let's just see what these men are capable of. Men, scooter to the toy! <laughs> Scooter de Matito! Scooter to the Tay! Scooter de Matito! Now let's see if they can march in a cohesive unit. Procody! Expectate! Procody! Tay! They're maintaining the ranks, even the Germanic Federati are joining in with them. This is an impressive unit of Romans. Consistency. Maintaining their lines with the language barriers, language differences, using Latin as a common language. Now, Scuta Demetito. Let's see if they can form the anti-projectile and anti-cavalry formation seen earlier. The largest amount of people to do this in later Roman equipment since the end of the Roman Empire. Let's see if they can form a testudinium. Ready? Add testudinium. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. A round of applause. That's fantastic. Now, these groups, British, French and German, haven't worked together in this amount before. You can see they've snapped to it straight away using the Latin as a common language. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, and Laxate. And now I will hand them over to their commander who will be taken through drill and pace in order for this Roman official to see them. Procedite, arguably where we get the word proceed from, and they walk past this imperial representative. A dextapono, right wheel. 
The representative, I think he's quite keen not just to see drill, but a little bit of a skill at arms, just to see how effective the weaponry is. At the time, we have an array of weapons local to the district, a very, very antique siege weapon here, an onager, a throwing weapon, named after... Look, the onager just means wild mule. Because of the kick of the arm. Now, I think they're going to bring the archers out, the Sagittarii. They're coming out just to show how effective the range of the weapons is. Archers are standing ready. Also, cavalry are, standing, are going to be standing ready on their flanks. So far, the uh, Imperial representative looks impressed with their efforts. Sagittarii. Wow, round of applause please. Imagine if they're facing the enemy. At the moment they're facing nobody at all. This is just a weapons range check. Knock. Knock, draw and loose. See, nobody says fire. Fire really came in with gunpowder. Knock. Knock your arrow. Draw your arrow. Loose. We're not using the Latin phrase. This is just for the benefit of the audience. Now the Sagittaria has stood down. You see the Secretary of the archers run to the back, and now it's an infantry and cavalry formation. The arrow collectors are going in. These arrows are precious. Every single arrow collected up by the wives, their daughters, or the participants. Every single arrow collected up. Now, they're just getting the men ready. The cavalry are going to either flank, and once the arrows are collected and out of the way, then you can see, for the first time ever, a late Roman infantry century advancing with support on the flanks, i.e. either side by the cavalry. Would you like to see them surge forward, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Here we go. A block of infantry supported by cavalry moves forward. Look at that, that's impressive, isn't it? So a round of applause for that lot, that's fantastic. <laughs> Supported the back by the archers. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the, I think the Imperial representative has seen enough of this martial display, and he now wants the men to assemble in front of him. This is down to the commander, and his own personal cavalry have joined in this martial display today. It's a standardized way of working throughout the empire. Ad pone, the soldiers are wheeled around to the right. And you see they're maintaining their column, they're maintaining this formation very, very well. Considering these groups don't often work together, in fact, very rarely have we, in fact, we never have all these groups work together at one time with very little rehearsals. I think they deserve a round of applause, don't you? Fantastic. Once it's deep, 